Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you my advice on how to start your new job like a rock star. Or, in fact, this is helpful for if you have a current job, but you want to take yourself to another level. You want to be seen as a rock star. You want to be seen as a linchpin. You want to be highly valued in your organization. These tips should be helpful for anyone in that, you know, that type of thinking. Um, by the way, I'm a little under the weather, so my voice is raspy, but um, this came about, I got this email from somebody who um, I've known for a while. Um, she has my training material. Um, I network, network with her through email and through Twitter and things like that. And um, she got a new job, so she wanted, she shot me this email. I'm not gonna say her name, but I wanna give you some context of the emails. Hey Mike, got this new job, thank God, um, LOL. My new title is UX Architect. Um, a fancy name for UX designer. I get that. Um, I had to do a 15 minute presentation. Guess they wanted to see how good of a storyteller I was. Um, I watched lots of your videos as a refresher. Anywho, my question is how do you start your new job, your new UX jobs, kicking butt straight out the gate? Okay, I'm impressed with my, and impress your new boss and your new team. All right. Um, and she goes on, and she's looking forward to your advice. Um, this is, excellent way of thinking. Um, we all should be going into a new job thinking this way and in fact if you're not thinking this way and wanting to grow and be a rock star and impress your boss start changing your thinking because you have the power to do that and you don't want to be seen as a commodity right somebody just does the work and goes home and and so forth you can do better here's my advice i wrote down a few things i want to give you strong advice that you can start doing today. The first thing, when you when you start a new role, um, your thinking has to be this. Every You can get your way if you're a nice person, okay? So the main thing you wanna go in, the, the philosophy you wanna have is you wanna be somebody that's likable, okay? Somebody that's likable, enjoyable to work with, nice, okay? If, if you're not that way, it is almost impossible to gain the respect from your colleagues or your, you know, your boss and so forth. You might be doing what the boss wants, but if you don't have this respect, this, I want to work with her, I want to work with him, it is hard to do anything. Okay, so that's the philosophy you need to go in with. Now, when you first get to your new job, you're going to have an onboarding process. It might be a week or two or thing, things like that. All you want to do, the number one priority thing, you just want to sit back and just take it all in. You want to listen. You don't want to come in dis trying to disrupt anything. All right, so your first role, first, first task is really just to learn about the business, learn about how they're doing things, how, learn about their product development cycles, learn about their product development, how they've been doing things over the last year or two, um, learn about the organization, how they make money. Um, just learn the ins and outs of the company, learn how past... Um, uh, product owners work with you know and things like that so you just learn the product learn the system learn the company right that can take three to four weeks and in this in this time you're just listening you're not disrupting anything and you're just being likable and, and so forth right now in this in this um so you're not getting there first day with your cape on trying to kick butt right no you're this likable person and you're sitting back and all you're doing is listening. You're not even proposing new ideas and what to change and things like that. You're not doing that at the forefront in the first few weeks, okay? But you're just, you're just documenting all this stuff in your archive and you're gonna present this later on. I'll explain, but so that's the first thing. And then your boss will probably give you a project. You're gonna have to sit you know, with the product owner or, or deliver on some UI mockups or whatever. And so you want to kick butt in that aspect, right? You want to deliver. You know how to design, do your best, and deliver those products because these are, might be low-hanging fruit things that are in the cycle that's going to get released right away, and so they might ask you just to help out with some mock-ups. And so your role in this, in this particular situation is not to come in and change the product, all right? Your job is to just deliver and move forward. Changing the product comes later, all right? So the first project that you have, just deliver on it. Just be strong about it, deliver on it, and move forward, okay? So that's the first thing. You wanna come in listening. Number two, that first project, you gotta kick butt and deliver on it in a sense that you just wanna make sure that you can get things done, all right? 
Now, the third thing you want to do, this is where, this is where if you have a current job, and this is where you actually start stepping up to that role of kicking butt. You want to have a meeting with your boss and you want to talk to your boss about your aspirations to become a rock star in this organization. All right. So this is where anybody, if you have a current role or if you have a new job, this is when you sit down with your boss and you're like, you know, I've been doing this, I've been working with such and such, and you know, oh, everything is looking great. I want to, I want to become a rock star at this company. All right. So I want to become a linchpin. My, my, my goal is to grow and be so invaluable, you know, and do everything possible and beyond that I'm seen as a rock star. Can you give me your advice or give me your thoughts on what you think I can do to get there right now? If somebody, if I'm, if I'm a director and somebody came to me like that for the first month or so, they're really nice. They've been deliver, delivering on that. And they came to me in with that message. I'd be like brownie points. Bing. Like I want this person on my side, right? Just the fact that you're thinking that way and, and having that conversation with your boss, your GM, whoever it is, your director, I mean, you're going to see, you're going to be seen so highly valued just from that conversation alone. It's going to, it's like the perfect situation. Okay. So now if I'm, if I'm a director and somebody came to me that way, I would probably give them some things that they can do to become that rock star. Right. And it would make me think, wow, I love this, right? I love this thinking. And you can, we can do this. We can work together and do this, this, this. So what you do is you, you take your, the list and the advice that your boss gives you and you want to commit to that. All right. And so what I mean is you want to commit and go hard at it. Right. So if they want you to be, um, and they want you to be, to set up meetings and, and, and present different ideas and things, you commit to that and you go for it, right? So you go back home over the weekend and you start plotting and planning on how you can deliver on what your boss, the list that your boss gave you. All right. So that's, that's the, if you can do that, then you will already have brownie points and, um, you'll be on your way. Now, here's what you do. So you, you commit and you deliver on the list and the things that your boss and you yourself talked about. But in addition to that, this is where you go far and beyond. Okay. So as you're, excuse me, as you're delivering on products and you're, you're doing your day to day job and you're doing all these other things your boss is asking you for, you want to do a couple of things. One, you want to find out anywhere that you can propose new ideas to help the product development and help the efficiency between UX and product development and the entire organization come together and be more efficient. So that means understanding my UI UX design process. Now I'm going to, for this person, I'm going to send you this PDF that I have that outlines my new latest, um, uh, product, um, UI UX design process that I'm coming out with my new course. Um, I'm gonna send this person this PDF and, and have, have you just, just, study it and live by it, study it and live by it and preach it. Right? So when you know your organization is not going through this process, make sure that you're the facilitator of that and making sure that you're keeping people on track. And then you want to, when you're at home, when you're designing your personal projects, though you might be delivering on projects at work, you want to start working on concept work for your company. All right. So an example of that is at ADP, um, we have, I work on this time and attendance app and we work on these scheduling apps and things like that. And so a lot of times there's a lot of red tape where you can't change things because we're so locked into certain UI designs and certain, uh, things with customers, with paying customers that you can't change things that easily. And so, but if you do concept work, you can change things however you want. Right. And what happens is you can start presenting these ideas to your bosses and your directors as time goes on and you can, what they will do, they'll love those ideas and you can pick and choose things from those cons that concept work to bring into our real day to day job. Right now, what you want to do is before you deliver this to anybody above your boss, you always want to sit down and present these things with your boss first. All right. And then you will always be seen as a rock star. Your boss will gain your trust. Your boss will uplift you, um, in that aspect. 
and puts you on a pedestal to present ideas and become that rock star in that organization. So if you do that, um, that's how you become a rock star, in my opinion, um, by being likable, being nice, listening, not disrupting anything, um, getting committing or, or delivering on projects, committing to having that meeting with your boss, committing on the things that your boss is telling you and, and knocking those out of the park and um, presenting new ideas. Um, you don't have to be this raw, raw person with this tough attitude and things coming in. We had a rock star. I, I knew she was a rock star, but she left the company after a year because ADP just wasn't a fit for her, but she came in quiet. But when she, very quiet um, UX designer, and, and we got along perfectly, but when she delivered on a project, it was like, whoa, and she presented her thoughts behind how she came up with these ideas and the documentation that she kept and all those things, it was like, this person was invaluable. So we, ADP let her, let, she, it just wasn't working out. I think the distance and the community, commu the commute and things like that and just things weren't working out, but she left the company. I, she was a rock star. All right. She was highly valued and um, ADP let her slip away, but she was very quiet, but she delivered on her projects and it was like, boom, you know, it was like, so you, you don't have to be this rah rah person. I want to change this. I want to have this meeting. I want to do this process. You can be quiet, but just deliver on those things. Those things that I talked about. That's how, in my opinion, that's how you become a rock star. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can learn more about me and what I do. Visit my site, mlwebco.com and use the contact link on my site. Ask me any questions. Um, I'll be happy to answer those when I have some time. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the things I talk about. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.